The war between Ukraine and Russia has moved to a completely different dimension with the USA and the West presenting their powerful war technologies to Ukraine. Especially US-made air defense systems, anti-tank and anti-ship systems and armored vehicles have been game changers in Ukraine's freedom struggle. The Russian army witnessed the power of Western systems on land and was unable to break through the Ukrainian defenses. However, very serious struggles took place for air supremacy over the Ukrainian skies. Although the Russian army has very powerful long-range missiles and warplanes, it has not been able to gain air superiority. So how is it that the Ukrainian army is now able to hold the advantage in the airspace against the Russians? The US military has provided the Ukrainian military with over $30 billion in military aid, elevating the Ukrainian military to one of the most capable armies in the world. Especially the US-made anti-aircraft manpads, medium and long-range air defense complexes became the guardian angels of the Ukrainian skies. Air defense systems are seen as heroes of the war between Ukraine and Russia. Especially the American-made NASAMS is much more prominent among them. In particular, medium-range NASAMS air defense systems have become the protectors of Ukrainians who are facing Russian missile terror in Ukrainian cities. Recent reports show that NASAMS has achieved legendary success against Russian missiles. The Ukrainian Air Force exhibited the work of the NASAMS air defense system. A video of the operation of this air defense system was published on social media. The content of this video revealed a new record in the war. According to the video, NASAMS air defense systems in Ukraine destroyed a total of 100 Russian aircraft in five months. This figure was the highest and most effective result we have seen since the beginning of the war. NASAMS have long been stationed in and around the White House. Yes, right now NASAMS are the most effective air defense systems protecting the White House and President Biden. Before the Ukrainian forces included NASAMS air defense systems in its inventory, Russian troops managed to damage the infrastructures of cities in the eastern regions of Ukraine by 60%. However, after NASAMS came, the success of Russian offensive operations dropped drastically because this air defense system was working with 100% success rate. For this reason, Russia could not damage Ukrainian territory and cities, neither with fighter jets nor with unmanned aerial vehicles. Fixed and mobile low and medium altitude systems are of great importance, especially due to the recent increase in the dangers of UAV drone, cruise missile and cruise missile drone mix. As we mentioned, the Ukrainian army manages to thwart Russian drones and other air attacks thanks to effective air defense systems such as NASAMS. So why have these systems been so successful? And how did NASAMS Ukrainian operators become inclined to use these systems? NASAMS can detect and track multiple targets at the same time thanks to its advanced radar system. This gives NASAMS a serious success rate. But the most effective feature of NASAMS is that it has dual-use AMRAAM missiles. Thanks to its dual-use concept, AMRAAM missiles provide operational advantages to the system and reduce costs. In addition, the training of NASAMS operators by the US is one of the factors that brings Ukraine to a serious level in air defense. The management and use of the system is quite easy compared to other types of air defense. The S-300 air defense system is much more complex than NASAMS, but NASAMS has a much higher success rate than the Russian S-300 air defense system. If you remember, in the past weeks, Russia launched a massive missile attack along the front line stretching from Lviv to Kherson. The Ukrainian Air Force announced that during these attacks, 34 Russian cruise missiles and 8 Iranian-made drones were shot down using NASAMS systems. NASAMS, which provided an effective success rate in the eastern front lines of Ukraine, also reduced the damage rates in this region. If you remember, another striking achievement of NASAMS in this regard was the destruction of the Russian Su-35 fighter jet. This striking situation, which left the Russian forces in shock, was one of the greatest proofs of how successful NASAMS was. Russian Su-35 fighter jet was shot down by NASAMS air defense systems near Izium. The Russian pilot of the plane barely escaped with his life. After this news, NASAMS became the most feared dream of Russians. Because, thanks to this air defense system, Ukrainian forces managed to shoot down a Russian Su-35 fighter jet for the first time. Considering that the unit cost of the Su-35 is about $85 million, the Russians are quite right to be afraid. NASAMS produced in 1995 can fire missiles up to 30 kilometers. They also have a 120-kilometer radar tracking system. 
Nassams was designed for the Royal Norwegian Air Force. But at the moment, this powerful and successful defense system is almost perfectly protecting the Ukrainian territory from the Russians. In addition, thanks to its flexible mission configuration, it is a system that has proven to be interoperable with high altitude and longer range systems such as Patriot. Actually, this is a very important detail because the US administration has been considering sending Patriot air defense systems to the Ukrainian army for a long time. The fact that these two systems work in harmony seems to bring the Russians out of the war. In addition, the US administration also mentioned NASAM's air defense systems in its latest military aid package. Alongside the US, the Norwegian government recently announced plans to supply Ukraine with two complete NASAM's firing units. Norwegian Defense Minister Bjorn Arald Gram announced that he will send two NASAM's air defense systems to Ukraine in cooperation with the United States. Gram, stating that Ukraine urgently needs additional air defense equipment, expressed that his country will constantly help Ukraine in this regard. Stating that the Ukrainian army will be trained in the use of NASAMs, Graham reminded that Norway had previously helped the USA in the delivery of NASAMs to Ukraine. Last October, the US delivered two NASAMs systems to Ukraine. Last November, Canada also announced that it would provide $500 million of military aid to Ukraine and announced that a significant part of this money would buy a NASAMs unit and missiles. Thanks to NASAMs, the Ukrainian army gained a serious advantage against the Russians in air defense. The most important reason why NASAMS is so effective is that it is mid-range. In other words, they are a total war icon in this regard, as UAVs usually carry out mid-range attacks. In short, while many countries have short-range air defense systems today, certain countries can develop long-range air and missile defense systems. In this context, studies have also been carried out on the need to fill the intermediate range air defense gap, and as a result, a modular system such as NASAMS, which is the subject of this video, has emerged. Although America has an advanced long-range air defense system like the Patriot, we see that it uses the Norway-based NASAMS to protect important institutions in their capital, Washington. Because air defense systems are divided into four classes as very low altitude, low altitude, medium altitude, and high altitude. Although the targets of most of these systems are similar, it is a necessity that they are specially developed for targets at different altitudes. In other words, there cannot be an understanding that there is no need for other air defense systems just because there is a high altitude air defense system. Although these systems are generally ground-based, air defense systems in four classes are also important and complementary elements. When considered, all of them stand before us as separate requirements. For this reason, the Ukrainian armed forces need both more NASAMs and other long-range air defense systems. It is predicted that clashes will increase on the battlefield in Ukraine, especially with the air temperatures increasing much more. At the same time, the Russians are expected to increase their operations in missile and airstrikes. For this reason, Ukrainian forces need to place effective defense systems such as NASAMs in the most strategic areas on their territory. For this, of course, the countries of the world need to provide military aid to Ukraine.